Hi again everyone, it's Vladimir here from Foxy Voxel. We've just launched another new update for Going Medieval, which you can download now on Epic Games Store, Steam and GOG. In this update, we've added water as a major new feature to the game environment, alongside fishing and other new content. Water is something we've wanted to add to Going Medieval for a while now, and we've been working hard to simulate it in a way that makes it feel natural within the existing game world. When you start a new play session, water will now appear on the map as rivers, lakes and swamps. Water is simulated to flow throughout the environment and fill any space that's available. This means you can direct it somewhere by destroying any earth that's connected to a body of water. Be careful when terraforming though, as it's possible to drown settlers or even submerge a settlement in water. Your buildings won't be much use underwater, and plants will eventually die too. Water can also fall from raised areas, so if you lead it to a cliff edge, it will keep running and create a nice waterfall effect. Water has a volume value associated with it, which means that the water level will change depending on the amount of space it has to fill. For example, if it's flowing into a small space, like you can see here, you can expect the water level to remain high, but if you introduce it to a large space, then it will most likely drop as it spreads throughout the environment. Water levels can be high, low, or shallow. So if water is flowing into a large, flat space, it will basically become a wide puddle. Don't worry, settlers and animals know how to swim. Settlers will only swim when necessary, as it will apply a wet effect to them that lowers their mood. In extreme cases, such as during the winter months, becoming wet can even give them hypothermia. You'll also need to make sure that the water level is high enough for them to get out, otherwise they can drown. Settlers can pick up any piles located beneath the water, and if needed, even fight enemies while swimming. It's not exactly graceful though. Introducing water to the game naturally means we now have fish too. These will regularly spawn in any rivers and lakes on the map. There are a few different kinds of fish, including pike, trout, and eels. These don't really behave like other animals in Going Medieval, but instead function as a resource. They will remain in one place and your settlers can catch them through fishing, allowing them to create new dishes to eat. We're sadly a few centuries too early for fish and chips though. While there are some risks from building your settlement near water, there are benefits too. Having fish nearby will guarantee a regular supply of food for your settlers, and rivers will act as a natural defense against invading barbarians. You can also build walls to contain water in a particular spot, and even use doors to release it on command which might be useful in some situations. For example, if you build a pit with no exit and suddenly introduce water as an enemy enters it, then you'll have yourself a very deadly trap. That's just a suggestion though. There are likely other unique ways you can use water in Going Medieval, so we're looking forward to seeing how players take advantage of it when building their settlements. We think having the ability to make rivers and waterfalls will also create some cool new creative opportunities Perhaps someone will make their own version of Venice in medieval Britain, or build an elegant waterfall palace for their settlers. We've also added a new water-themed map type. If you select Marsh when starting a new session, 50% of the map environment will be covered in water, and fish will be in abundance. This map type offers a pretty different type of game experience, as there won't be much land to use for agriculture, and you'll need to be more strategic when building too. Finally, we now have the water rat as a new animal variant, along with mallets, which appear in groups and can be hunted by your settlers. To complement the water theme of this update, we've also added willow trees and reeds, which can help you create a nice country river aesthetic for your settlement. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to download the new update for Going Medieval from today. If you'd like to keep up to date with the game, you can join our community on Discord or follow us on Twitter.